all, uh, as you know, we have uh, with uh, President Trump been kind of a roller coaster. <clears throat> so sometimes it's going up, sometimes it's coming down. So uh, I'm not that sure that whatever Mexico is offering would change Trump's mood, as this seems not to be that uh, linked to actual problems. Okay. Linking trade to migration is as if Mexico would start linking uh, the, the guns trade or the money laundering to, to problems. So why don't keep things separate? Okay. And that's kind of what he's talking right now. Eamon, meantime, there's been a lot of congressional pushback. How serious is that pushback, especially from the GOP, and could it override a veto? I think it is serious. You see uh, Republicans like Ted Cruz from Texas saying, you know, this is a big problem and emphasizing in meetings with White House officials that uh, there are no votes right now among Republicans for these tariffs. The question is whether they're going to stand up to the president and ultimately override that veto. The Republicans on the Hill haven't shown a whole lot of willingness to stand up to this president. He's got a 90 percent approval rating among Republican voters, and all the Republican senators know that. Uh, so the Trump strategy here of tariffs is pretty untested and unproven at this point. He's, he's saying he's going to get results. We don't know if he will. But the one area where the president has succeeded dramatically, I think, and I have a question on this for the ambassador, is, uh, Ambassador, the president has put these tariff threats out there and brought Mexico to the table. So the president is succeeding in getting China to the table. He's succeeding now in getting Mexico to the table. And I guess the question is, why? Why did Mexico send the delegation to Washington this week hmm. to respond to it instead of simply ignoring it? Because uh, the president views this as a big win to at least get these conversations happening in Washington on his terms right now. It is true, as you say, but I'm glad that you mentioned China. What I think President Trump is doing uh, with his love to uh, President Putin, what he's doing is weakening the economic zone of the Americas and he's weakening the economic area of Europe. And then what he's doing is strengthening China. And in a way, Mexico is very much concerned on the impact, as you saw, the, the currency already jumped up. And then that's the reason why the, the delegation of Mexicans is over there rather than just ignoring. But what President Trump is doing is pushing Mexico to start talking to China because, I mean, if he really goes on with his uh, threat, right. Mexico will have no much options. Right. In